This one under fuck weed part two. Fuck weed part two. So I came across this article because you know, once you're my age, they think everything you want to read is centered around dick health and dick strength, right? So I I get all these kind of articles, but this one here jumped out at me like you know, swoon. Can smoking weed every day cause erectile dysfunction? You know, and I've been wondering, you know, what really is the impact of these guys smoking all of this weed. I shared the story with you, you know, with my job, right? Guys got to have their weed break. Literally, the job lets them go outside and smoke weed, right? Now, what's the, what's the flip side to that shit? Your ass get hurt on this job. Guess what you can't file? Workers come. We had, we had one guy slipping grease, like just slipped in the fucking grease. Could not file work. Your ass just burnt. You know, that's what this is. You know, that's this area that we're moving in to with this excessive fucking weed smoke, you know, and, and what now appears to be everybody's high. And I think, you know, when we look at what's going on in New Orleans with the crime and all of this shit, I, I look at the excessive drug use of some of these these younger African-American males just every day all day fucked up right brother just shared a story with me right about um his his nephew on his wife's side he done passed out at home depot on a fucking forklift you know he that high then passed the fuck out like the people following him you know with the forklift and shit pinned in between two rows of shelves this shit is getting out of control out of fucking control and you know nobody want to say anything about it nobody want to address it because to to address it or to say anything about it you are the i do it out on this shit right but if your shit is limp and it's not working and you're smoking a lot of weed then one plus one equals the fucking weed okay i'm just telling you that you can't keep doing this shit every day and don't affect nothing to happen to you right if if you are you know in the process of you and your lady finding that y'all can't have a baby you may want to look into the weed shit because it fucks with your sperm count you know these are studies there's actual studies on this shit nobody's going to read it because everybody likes weed but there's really been no long term study into the weed that y'all are buying. See, they just want to give the blanket rule of that. Okay, all weed is good weed. But all weed is not created equal. This shit that these dudes are whipping up, what I call bathtub boogie. See this fucking bathtub boogie? That's going to that's gonna be the death of a lot of fucking people. Because they're mixing and cutting and putting shit in shit. You know, I grew up back in the day when the crack epidemic started i remember the fucking baking soda the pot in the pan and fucking the stirring and all this shit i was i was in kitchens when that shit was going on right my friend you know his big brother was a big time dope dealer and you know fucking we were in the house because their house we played atari by them they were the only one who had air condition and when his mom was at work the big brother was in the back cooking up the fucking dope you know so i i know what shit looks like when it's cut into something I've, I've seen the blocks of fucking cocaine then i've seen them dice that shit and cut shit into it and i'm telling you this weed shit and the shit that they're putting into this right a lot of people gonna start dying um you know the company that i work for at another restaurant we had someone drop could just fucking drop dead literally just drop dead you know they've lost two employees in one month right because of a drug culture because of a drug culture and ain't shit nobody could do about it ain't shit nobody want to do about it ain't shit the ones who are smoking it gonna do about it in the meantime the quality of life the quality of of fucking african americans is descending because every fucking body is high and i'm sick of that shit and that's what I say. This shit is be, is starting and forming into a drug culture. You got to. That's why a lot of the killings are in New Orleans. 
because everybody wants to be a fucking dope dealer. They're not making as much money as they used to make back in the day. So now they're trying to protect territories and all of this bullshit. And you know, you only have but a handful of people that you can buy. You can sell real dope to because everybody got their own fucking weed connect. They got like a million fucking weed connects now. Back in the early 80s, you had two dudes in, in the whole fucking night ward that was the real weed connect. Now, every fucking body is the weed connect. Everybody is selling weed and now there's not enough money for them to go around so somebody pops up a little weed shop he got to die he got to go that's what the fuck it, this shit is and it's it's only getting worse it's not getting better and i'm telling you i totally regret um supporting this weed shit now that i see what it's doing you know what looking looking at all these fucking women around here with black lips men with everybody got these black ass smoking lips and you know they just look like they're in the days like oh uh, 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 that's what the fuck what the fuck people